gonna do Gemini. This is y'all zodiac sign reading for um December. So I'm like, hey, since you know, Gemini, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Aquarius, since y'all was the second um highest ranked group that got voted, okay. I'm like, I might as well do y'all general reading, okay? So let's just get it all out there today. So, you know, later on. I can be able to do the rest of the zodiac signs, separate readings for my Instagram and TikTok, okay? Because, you know, I gotta push content out on there too as well. But let's get started first and foremost with, okay, some oracle messages with my Moon Allergy card deck, okay? So, first card we got is time to release negativity. Prosperity lies ahead. Hold, have faith in your dreams, okay? So, right now, Gemini, I feel like y'all need to. Stop being around negative energy. If you're harboring on to some type of anger or resentment, it is time to let that go because it's like you holding yourself back. Somebody don't like taking accountability because I heard that Rick Ross line where he was like, these can't hold me back, okay? But it more was coming off like who holding who back, okay? So balance spirituality and practicality, okay? So you need to balance out your spiritual life and your real life, okay? Yin and yang energy. And we got believe in the impossible, okay? And we have your hard work is paying off. Don't let your past hold you, hold you back in reverse. And we got your commitment is being tested. I feel like somebody is holding on to something, a past situation or some type of past hurt and resentment that they really need to let go and release. Because like I said, that is what's holding you back, causing some type of stagnancy or like you're still entertaining situations. You know, people that you've been supposed to close out cycles with. And it's like Gemini, come on. Now, it's like we got to take accountability that sometimes it's not people. Sometimes it's our actions or not, you know, doing certain things that we know we should be doing. Uh, and that's pretty much why, like, you're not possibly in a situation you're not in. So, we got you're not who I really want. Somebody could be dealing with somebody uh, who's, like, very indecisive or they step out of the connection, okay? So, we got spiritually broke. I feel like somebody's faith is just not strong, okay? And I definitely feel like it's because you're dealing with somebody who can be, like, very promiscuous or, like, it's not respecting y'all connection. So, we got tell that MF y'all done. So, somebody want to, like, if you're talking to somebody else, somebody could be trying to control somebody too, like, um, it's like somebody could be like, okay, I don't want you. Or Gemini, you're telling somebody I don't want you. And somebody is like not taking the memo. Like they want you to hang up whoever you're dealing with, okay? So we got Forever My Lady by Jealousy reminds me of you. And then we got When I'm With Them, I Still Think of You. You're my empress only. So somebody is in a connection and they want to, yeah, they, they coming back. They want to come back to talk. Somebody feel like you're what they manifested, Gemini. These cars are getting to talking like somebody wants to tell you how they feel. Okay, so we gonna start off by the first card that came out was you're not who I really want. So this gonna resonate with Gemini placement, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus. And the first card that popped out was um, let me see. It was a card that popped out. I kid you not, and it's hiding. So, yeah, it, the, whatever the three of pentacles. Yep. So, there's definitely something could be taking place in the workplace. I'm What I'm getting, somebody is community. Somebody is a player. Somebody is definitely community. The death card in reverse. I feel like somebody is refusing to end a third party situation or there is somebody in a third party situation. Like, wanting to... They don't want, like, somebody else to end something, okay? This could be an earth sign, a, a Virgo, okay? Emperor card energy, okay? So, an Aries, you got Virgo, Aries, Capricorn, Taurus, okay? Take what resonates. I feel like somebody is entertaining a third party that they, I feel like they want to walk away from, but somebody is not. I feel like with the Page of Cups, somebody could be, like, really childish, okay? It's like somebody wants to go some type of relationship, um... Or, like, go some type of baby mother, okay? Or, like, somebody has, like, um insight about, like, a divine feminine and spiritual union, okay? Five of Wands is, like, this Aries or this divine masculine energy could have, like, a lot of suitors, a lot of competition, okay, as well. Or is, like, he can want to come in also and cause, like, some type of problem, okay? So, I feel like it could be, like, a lot of childish people, possibly a water sign or, like, somebody is, like, um... 
somebody is jealous of somebody uh like work performance or like a friend group okay with a judgment card whatever this is it's like somebody's trying to call 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 the shots okay somebody's like i feel like yeah with a world card okay so it's like gemini you know you could okay so gemini you could hear some type of news about like a mother passing away and I feel like this could like break break your heart in a way to like this person could have tried to cause some type of stagnancy in somebody's life and you know something about it. And I feel like this is somebody's karma. Like somebody something's gonna happen to somebody's mom on the other end of the note. Like whoever this is was like, yeah, Page of Wands is like hearing about some type of news. I'm also getting that like there's a Virgo. Or like somebody who's like a, a somebody could be like a popular popular loner or tourist that wants to like um come give like this divine feminine some type of offer come talk to her yeah I feel like he could have like a hard time like expressing how he feel okay page of pinnacle six of wands it's like he wants to he he needs to gain some type of courage or something he may not know like what to what to give this feminine energy. But I feel like somebody could be jealous about this, feel some type of way. I'm feeling like you could be dealing with a Capricorn from your past. Like in this cycle where you still deal with them. And this could be somebody who, who played the field. It's like whoever this is, it's kind of like they entertain third party situations. But they're like, you not going nowhere. Like I'll be damned type energy. They apologize and they do the same ish again. <coughs> Somebody could have a tendency of like listening to what they mama say too much. Somebody could be a mama's boy. I'm seeing like people from the past can like want to reconcile, turn up with you. Not the swords. Yeah, somebody can like have like a outside influence of like friends that are like wrong for them. They like bad influence their family. Like some, it seems like somebody want to party and turn up all day. And for swords, Gemini, I see. The four swords, ten of swords, lovers card. I just see you getting tired of this. Like every time somebody gets like this, it's like you just retreat, pull back your energy, and you're it's like you're tired of being tired. Okay? But it's like somebody has somebody has like I don't know. Somebody I don't know. Somebody has the Somebody may not even like that. There may be a feminine energy who's like very wise and do tarot and she puts you up on game about this. Yeah, Gemini, that sounds really tiring. Let's get, can we talk? Let's get, can we talk for Gemini? So we got the Hermit card, the Moon card, okay? I feel like... Gemini, you could be keeping off to yourself where people don't know what it is that you got going on. Okay. I feel like you could have stopped talking to a fire sign because she could have been like very super superstitious. Okay. I feel like whoever this is took a leap of faith to like take action towards like some type of investment two of cups energy with a divine masculine i feel like he could have had some type of tower moment somebody definitely ghosted a pisces or they want to ghost a pisces to move forward and come towards like this fire sign feminine energy to come like yeah this could have been somebody that they had a family with they detached from okay eight of pentacles I feel like somebody's in this energy, like they work, go home, work, go home. And it's like over time, somebody has been detaching themselves. Okay. Yeah. Ace of Swords. It's like somebody sees like some type of commitment. They want to give like a higher commitment, a relationship with this, um, with this healer. Okay. Somebody could definitely be like a psychic of some sort. This day, yeah, somebody want to come work things out with a divine feminine energy. I'm telling this song by Party Next Door Options. Somebody could be having like chest complications. Somebody could have like a heart, more, more, heart 
defect, like heart warmer, whatever that's called, right here, like tightness in the chest. I feel like whoever this is is like stress with this nine of wands and this moon card. Like somebody definitely has stress issues. It could be this divine masculine energy. This is definitely somebody guarded. It's like somebody wants to go towards somebody who they feel like they safe around. I feel like whoever this is just want to come and talk. Okay, page of swords, energy. So I definitely feel like somebody is definitely watching. Could be a water sign. Okay, two of cups. I feel like somebody is a playboy. Like somebody also could be a player, but it's like they're in a relationship. Okay, with a air sign feminine energy. Or this is a woman who does not have no. This is a woman that could be like really harsh to this masculine energy. Like she says things to like hurt this masculine energy feelings. Okay, air sign. This could even be you. I feel like um somebody could know that like um a Pisces was like juggling them, breadcrumbing them, six plus two, seven, eight of pinnacles. Like somebody can like throw themselves into work whenever they sad, they feel some type of way when this woman cause like he ain't getting no love there. Yeah, eight of wands in reverse. And crossing, we got King of Cups, Eight of Cups. So I feel like somebody's detaching from this relationship. They want to go towards a connection to where, like, they're getting some type of support, some type of love from. Mommy, I got to pee. Go pee pee. So, let's pull cards on your what I manifest. So cover your mouth. <coughs> You're what I manifested. So let me get something you're what I manifested for Gemini. So we got the world card, the lover's card. Gemini, somebody feel like they manifested you. Like somebody got their eye set on you. It's like somebody wants you to leave your relationship that you're in. Okay, yeah. It's like somebody feel like you're everything that they, they see. Like you're their happy place, okay? It's like somebody is manifesting some type of new beginning with you. And it's like, yeah, nine of swords energy. It's like somebody can see, for some reason with the magician card, nine of swords, eight of pentacles. It's like somebody can see like you be stressing out. Okay, you could be dealing with a feminine energy. And this can even be a man who could be like very judgmental. They want to control how things operate. Yeah, this could be like some type of earth sign who's like really codependent. Okay, or uh, the chariot card is like the ace of wands. Somebody is like, yeah, Gemini, don't, don't, um, don't go over there with, this can even be like the same sex situation. It just could be two men. And one's more feminine and the other's more masculine. I'm seeing it's like somebody's like, no, nah, come over to this side. Come over here because like so-and-so don't appreciate you. Okay. Somebody could be bisexual. I'm also getting that this could be two air sign couples. Like Gemini, you could be trying to manifest like a Libra back, trying to deal with them, plotting, strategizing on them. It's like you prefer that they're codependent or you could be codependent. You could be trying to find ways to, like, get this person back and it's not working. Mommy. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, my baby got a, he got a, uh iPhone. <laughs> Here you go, dude. For those who like, he only four with an iPhone. Yes, iPhone 11 at that. Okay, so you're the empress in my eyes. So we got the... Nine of cups, five of cups, okay? I feel like somebody can move moving slow because they going through something. I feel like this person wants you to know that like you are wish fulfillment for them. Somebody could just be going through something and it's taking a while, something with the court system, okay? Or like somebody's trying to balance something out within their finances. And like whoever this is, I feel like somebody throws themselves into work. Yeah, this could be an earth sign, masculine energy, okay? It's like somebody could have been... Okay, somebody could have been dealing with somebody obsessive from their past, possibly a Capricorn, too, or like a toxic connection, toxic family. It's like some somebody family is toxic as hell, and it's like they always slow somebody down. They, they're trying to prevent somebody from, like, giving an offer to a earth sign masculine energy, okay? It's like somebody family don't want them to move towards like a better outcome with somebody else, like possibly moving. Somebody family intentionally does things to keep somebody stagnant, out of jealousy, out of spite. 
two of swords yeah it's like yeah this could be like a leo okay somebody definitely can have like leo leo and taurus or libra somewhere in there try like somebody family members like really really toxic okay it's like this person could be moving on up like you know changing their surroundings it's like when this person starts to do better it's like um their family do things in the background or like prevent this person from like moving forward, moving on. I do feel like this person is was in this en energy of like closing out toxic cycles, but it's like there's people in the past that like won't let this person move forward, okay? It's like, yeah, it's like people don't want somebody to go. I feel like whoever this is is like too codependent on them. This could be like a toxic ex. This could be like somebody toxic mother, a toxic friend group. Yeah, there's a toxic friend group that don't want somebody like taking a leap of faith to do what it is that makes them happy. Because I feel like somebody will benefit from that. Somebody wants somebody like codependent. It's like somebody wants somebody to always like take care of a group of people or always be there when a group of people need them. It's kind of like people enjoy somebody like struggling. Okay. When I'm with them, I still think of you. So, okay. I'm definitely feeling like there could be somebody in a relationship and this could be with somebody for money. They, yeah, I feel like there's definitely some type of tower moment. Somebody want to come in and cause a tower moment. For some of y'all, y'all could be in a relationship with somebody. It's like, yeah, somebody wants to cause a tower moment. This is somebody toxic. Like, somebody wants to give you some type of offer with the Six of Pentacles. Like, I really feel like, yeah, nah, yep. It's like somebody wants to work with you. Somebody sees you as, like, beneficial, Gemini, okay? Whoever this is been watching you, they watch your connection, they studying you, okay? Four of Cups energy. I feel like you could be tired of this or this person's, like, not motivated. They could be like, yeah, this person could be, like, really, really lazy. Like, whoever this is, they're lazy. Like, they want you to take care of them. And it's like you could already be in something already, and it's like, yeah, somebody's like, nah. Yeah, it's like somebody sees themselves being in a prosperous relationship with you. If they was come to give you this this Ace of Cups, or it's like, you know, yeah, express how they feel. So let me get forever my lady reminds me of you. So there is an earth sign masculine energy. He's definitely watching you, spying, keeping tabs, okay? This is somebody that I feel like they like you. Uh, he could possibly want to tell you he like you or give you some type of apology. Okay, nine of cups. This person was definitely hiding the fact that you were wish fulfillment to him or he could have been lying that he was single. Okay. Listen, he could be in a toxic connection with a queen of swords, feminine energy who's really, really controlling and it pisses him off. Okay. So if the moon card, yeah, I feel like he could have been lying the fact that he was in a relationship. Seven of Wands. I feel like if you want to know that if that's why he rejected you, that's why, okay? It's like he wants to take action towards you. And but he knows he has to end some type of connection with a Pisces, okay? Ace of Swords, yeah, in order to come give you this Ace of Cups energy. It's like he knows he has to detach from this, okay? Knight of Wands energy. Is like, yeah, in order to come towards you, he knows he has to end another situation. I am getting that uh, Queen of Wands, Six of Cups, Six of Wands, Ten of Wands. Somebody had a spiritual download about, like, who really was their person, like, this fire sign, like... Like, a, yeah, and it's like somebody wants to tell this person how they feel, but they have, like, a hard time. Somebody could be, like, intimidated by somebody's, like, leadership, their persona, you know, how, the, how they carry themselves. So we got until we meet again. I, off that till we meet again card, I just feel like a lot of karmic cycles are trying to re-emerge. You got even new karmic cycle trying to re-emerge because it's all part of the plan to, like, keep you from your person, okay? It's like whoever this Queen of Swords Gemini is, this could be you. Somebody just feel like, oh, you be back. Okay, strength card. Chariot card. Queen of Swords. 
Ace of Pentacles. So I feel like somebody's trying to hold somebody back from like starting or giving some type of offer new. Seven of Swords. Somebody's definitely lying, okay? Or doing things intentionally. Okay, somebody can know that somebody wants to move on and balance their life out with somebody else that's like a better situation. I feel like whoever this is is real pissed off about it. Yeah, this is definitely somebody from your past, okay? This is somebody who betrayed you in the past, okay? I'm definitely, this could be an Aquarius. It's like this person wants to reconcile with you. They're mad because I feel like, Gemini, you could be not going for the games, going for the shenanigans. It's kind of like once we fall out, stay out. Like somebody's praying on your downfall too as well. Like, like they're praying on your downfall. Like the next situation, next relationship you get in, they hope it don't work out. Because they feel like you will be coming back to them all the time, okay? Somebody feel like with the Queen of Swords and the Strength card, like, they, they're controlling the fuck out of you. Like, they feel like they're doing an amazing job of manipulating and controlling you. Like, this is somebody who feel like you don't move until I tell you to move. Somebody also gonna be, like, holding something over somebody's head to prevent them from, like, moving on. So, let me get something on Spiritually Broke, Okay. So we got the two of pentacles energy ace of cups king of wands ten of pentacles this could be there could be like somebody balancing out their love like taking action towards their ten of pentacles okay i feel like yeah with the page of swords energy i feel like a lot of people could be watching keeping tabs studying okay nine of cups the justice card it's like somebody getting their life together okay i feel like this could be a Taurus or a fire sign or it's both of them okay i'm definitely giving the four of wands like somebody wants to come talk to somebody come to somebody's house okay it's like somebody could be happy in a connection happy in a relationship where you got two people that's like mirroring each other could be twin flames okay mirroring each other working on like themselves to come into union but i feel like you got people that's in this four cups that feel like okay i ain't got no place in this person's life because somebody is like not motivated with the four cups energy like they don't know what they want to do with themselves okay i feel like people are judging somebody harshly because it's like somebody has the audacity that somebody wants to change and better their life and it's like you know if you ain't in the gym or putting a work in or you don't know what you got going on with yourself it's like somebody just feel like yeah i'm enlightened enough to know that i gotta free myself with it because it's like at this point you only gonna delay me you only gonna drain me okay i feel like i feel like whoever this is know that they have to move around from people like that somebody is choosing connections where it's like it's better for them like you know you can't be around my bad. It's like, you know, you can't be around a whole bunch of people that ain't got nothing going for themselves because you end up being like them people. And I feel like just them choosing what's best for them is causing tower moments in people's lives right now because a lot of people are codependent on somebody. And it's like, yeah, this could be family or friends. Somebody could be like real charismatic, give the shirt off somebody back. Somebody can like being a giver, okay? And I feel like somebody's like, yeah, I ain't about to do that. I'm just about to focus on me. And it's making people mad. For some reason, it's bothering somebody. I feel like you could have like Gemini and Earth sign energy in your chart, or you could just be real grounded. Okay, it's like somebody is definitely stepping into their soft girl era, and I don't even know why people made that a thing when it's like you should always want to be in your feminine energy okay, you should want to be healed enough to where you could be in your feminine and your masculine energy. Like, come on now, ain't nobody's bone thugs and harmony, or nobody's um no limit soldiers like be be a woman so let me get someone to the mf y'all done okay so we got queen of wands the moon card in reverse okay and we got the hermit card energy so i feel like there could be a fire sign energy that knows somebody is possibly giving you the wrong advice okay or it's like yeah with the queen of pentacles energy king of swords okay so there's like another woman who's like she could be for the streets. This don't even have to be a fire sign. Or there could be an air sign like telling this woman like, yeah, stop entertaining that person. Somebody knows that somebody is in like a whole different connection. This could be even a Virgo that wants to say something. It's like, yeah, somebody only intentions are to like hold somebody back from giving somebody else an offer that they're really going to be happy with. Okay, it's like not a source five of wands. Somebody want to argue 
argue a lot this is like a toxic connection that somebody's in okay sun card eight of cups is like somebody's like ain't you happy with me and we happy over here and it's like yeah it's like somebody's having a hard time detaching themselves from a toxic connection it's like somebody wants to come in and explain to somebody what's going on okay somebody could have had a spiritual download okay this could be a tourist going through this somebody feels left out in the cold like they just feel like it's a toxic connection and this queen of swords is like holding something over his head preventing him to want to go move forward okay yeah it's like this queen of swords is telling this earth sign masculine energy like tell her you done like y'all ain't got nothing going on but or it's it's so weird but it's like he don't want to be with her he could possibly just give her money she always got his hand her hands in his pockets okay yeah so if you happen to resonate with this please like subscribe and share okay i am available for personal readings but not today i will be available tomorrow all that good stuff description it would be in my description where you could book me and how to book me okay i'm off i appreciate everybody from I appreciate everybody for tuning in to my channel, my platform. I'm so, so grateful. Okay, so yes.